in this video we are going to discuss about input output instructions first let's see how the data will be transmitted from input devices to the output devices uh, the most commonly used input device is keyboard so whenever we type any character with the help of the keyboard then the transmitter interface transmits then we have transmitter interface transmitter interface transmits that character to a register called INPR INPR stands for input register at the I at uh, input register a flag called FGI is maintained FGI stands for input flag FGI value will be set to 1 if input register contains a character whereas if the input register doesn't contains any character then FGI will be clear to 0 now FGI value is 1 why because assumes that we have typed a character and that character presents in input register ok next here input register passes that character to the accumulator input register passes that character to the accumulator next we have out register out register stands for output register output register receives information from accumulator at the output register a flag called FGO is maintained at the output register a flag called uh, here what a accumulator is doing uh, accumulator is receiving information from the input register and passing that information to the output register here FGO stands for uh, output flag the initial value of the FGO is 1 if output register contains a character then FGO will be clear to 0 so it is reversed to the FGI if FGI is equal to 1 then it specifies that input register contains a character whereas if FGI is equal to 0 then we can say that input register doesn't contains any character whereas here output register means initially FGO value is 1 FGO is equal to 1 means output register doesn't contains any character whereas FGO is equal to 0 means output register contains a character so output register receives a character from the accumulator and uh, receiver interface we have receiver interface receiver interface receives that character from the output register and provides that character to the monitor so that that character will gets printed on the monitor so in this way the, the transmission will be done here we know how to represent the instruction format the size of the instruction format is 15 bits in this the first 12 bits specifies IO operations the first 12 bit specifies IO operations and uh, ARC code 311 specifies the operation to be performed and here the address mode bit is I is 1 indirect bit is 1 so what are the ARC code bits when ARC code bits are 311 then IO operations are to be executed so we can say that IO instructions are executed when the decoder's output D7 is active D7 means this 311 in binary notation 4 to 1 in binary notation means 7 so when the decoder's output D7 is active then IO instructions are executed and here what is I value? I value is 1 so that is represented by I next here T0, T1, T2 timing signal specifies fetching and decoding of the instructions whereas the next timing signal is T3 so input output instructions or operations to be executed when D7 I T3 is active when decoders output D7 and indirect bit I as well as timing signal T3 is active let it be represented by P so D7 I T3 is nothing but P so whereas the instructions B11 what is the instruction here this is nothing but 11th bit PB11 performs the first instruction PB10 performs the second instruction so likewise we have 6 instructions PB11 performs one instruction PB10 performs one instruction like that the instructions will get performed now let us discuss those instructions one by one the first instruction is INPR INP the first instruction is INP INP stands for input it inputs a character to the accumulator so the contents of the input register will be passed to the accumulator so the contents of input register will be transferred to the accumulator but here the problem is the size of the input register is 8 bits 
whereas the size of the accumulator is 16 bits so for the most significant bits of accumulator the data will be transferred so the data will be transferred from the most eight significance of the accumulator so from 0 to 7 so for those bits the data will be transferred the least significant bits from 15 to 8 will be make as 0 okay next year next year uh, input flag uh, here input register doesn't contains any data why because the data is transferred to the accumulator so fga value will be clear fga is equal to 0 so it specifies that input register doesn't contains any data next one is out so out stands for output output a character to the accumulator okay so out means what accumulator out that output register gets a character from the accumulator okay a output register gets a character from the accumulator so here output register is receiving the character from the accumulator but what is the size of the output register 8 bits so here the most 8 significant bits of the accumulator are to be transferred to the output register okay now what is FGO value FGO value is 0 why because output register contains data if output register contains data FGO value is 0 if output register doesn't contain any data then FGO value is 1 and the next one is skip on input flag SKI SKI stands for skip on input flag that means if FGA value is 1, if input flag is 1, then skip the next instruction. Skipping the next instruction is nothing but increment the program counter value. So that the next instruction won't get executed. Next one is skip on output flag. That means if output flag is 1, then skip the next instruction. So how to skip the next instruction? By incrementing the program counter. So that next instruction won't get executed. Next one is IEN. IEN stands for interrupt enable on interrupt enable on so that uh, so here the instruction is ION interrupt enable on so what will happen this IEN will be set to 1 so whenever this IEN will be set to 1 then uh, interrupt flag will be set to 1 and the next one is interrupt off interrupt off so whenever IEN is clear to 0 then the interrupt will be offed so while handling the interrupt related instructions we will use these two so these are the various input output instructions which are available in the computer